And now, a special Dateline Disney from Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. In a special press conference held recently at Walt Disney World, Disney chairman Michael Eisner unveiled plans for the biggest and most ambitious theme park in Disney history. I'm here to announce that we're going to present a wild animal kingdom on 500 acres just west of our north-south road. Five times the size of the Magic Kingdom and the largest of all Disney theme parks in the world, Disney's Wild Animal Kingdom will be the first live-action adventure park of its kind. Filled with the natural drama of today's wildlife, it will celebrate animals from real life, fantasy, and fables. That is going to combine the real world of animals with the extinct world of animals and with animals from mythology uh, as well. The first thing that happens to you when you enter the park is you're plunged into this fantastic jungle environment. Uh, there's river journeys, boat journeys you take that take you from fantasy realms to prehistoric realms. The centerpiece of the park is the majestic Tree of Life, 14 stories tall, with a trunk more than 50 feet wide. As you approach the tree, it becomes clear that the tree is not a tree at all, but is this swirling tapestry of interlocked animal forms, so that it's a very, very moving symbol of all that life, all of its beauty, its power, its majesty, and its unity, and our place, small amongst it, gazing up at all this wonder. Guests will be taken on a journey of discovery, designed both to entertain and educate. When we began the planning for Disney's Wild Animal Kingdom, one of our first decisions was to assemble the best and most dedicated conservationists available to help us plan the park's design and philosophy. We did want to be entertaining. We still do want to be entertaining. It's part of the deal. But we also want to make you fall in love and be part of the conservation effort. Almost three years ago, Disney created an advisory committee composed of leading wildlife and zoological experts, including the Wildlife Conservation Society and Conservation International. This committee played an integral role in guiding the design and development of Disney's wild animal park. It'll be the kind of place where conservation will come alive. So we're depending upon the Walt Disney Company and its creativity to really do this better than anyone has ever done it before. This park down at uh, Walt Disney World is a great addition to Epcot Center, the Magic Kingdom, the Disney and Gym Studios, and all the hotels and water parks we have. This park will add a new dimension that I think is appropriate for our company. Groundbreaking begins in September for Walt Disney World's Wild Animal Kingdom, set to open in the spring of 1998.